my experience in London was tough at the very beginning. I didn't know how to express myself. Uh, I didn't know how to connect with people. These people are running and fighting for something that doesn't really count in life. And it was very difficult for me to give out trust and to share my feelings. I found also lots of people that knew exactly what I was going through. And they were there, ready to help without asking anything in return. They made me feel like it doesn't matter where you are, but you can still feel like home. As long as you find a true heart, true emotions, and that profound sense of sharing. And this is what White Lotus is about. It's about the beauty that you can still find in yourself and in other people, of course. Only if you look inside, you can find love. start singing again because I basically stopped for a while because before that I just uh, had the chance to play around in Italy that was fine and to explore more uh, the jazz scene and uh, I was happy but you know at some point you feel like you have to do something you have to talk about something you have in your store I started with some Italian musicians because it was just easier for me. And uh, one day I went on Facebook and I found this guy called Carmen Caruso. He's a keyboard player. We started gigging around London and finally I was happy again. At some point I received a call uh, from this friend of mine and Suzy Reilly is a drummer. He asked me to record something in the studio with uh, Dario V down bass and Giulio Mazzariello on piano. So I said yes! And so Carmen joined us. And at the time we were thinking uh, maybe we can record our original uh, called Into You. It's about all the memories I had uh, one well, of my first love I lost, unfortunately, so I just felt I had to write something about it and I felt better. Uh, Into You was probably the one that says, wow, out of the first session, some magic happened. And uh, that's what made us thinking, this is actually cool, we should develop this project. I fight with my view in the mirror smiling in this blurry scene how oh, is not my reflection I see it's not enough for me and it's funny how sometimes things go in a way that you wouldn't expect especially the the latest songs we did um they had such a stronger soul vibe and uh it would have been a bit of a shame just to leave it like they were out of the session as a jazz uh, piece of music. We felt like, how about putting some extra bits of BDs in this section? And how about doing some extra layers, pads here and there? So we're trying to, to take the whole production to a next level. That's why I got my friend, uh, producer Chris Webb, to get involved uh, to add a bit of spice. We took some of the tracks somewhere else, really. Um, we had some extreme examples like out there. Uh, we ended up um, re recording completely with a new setup. We took the drums out, we brought the percussion in. 
out there. So I decided to talk about myself. This song is about fear and uh, the fact that sometimes you want to do things, but there's another part of you saying, are you sure you can do it? What I really like also about this, this uh, record, and it all started as a five-piece project, and in the space of nearly two years, there's lots of contribution from different people. Um, we're guessing amazing musicians. I wrote some of the lyrics of this EP with uh, David Shirti. He's an incredible singer, incredible talent. I couldn't make this piece of work without Karma and David. Yeah, it's been definitely fun arranging this project and uh, I'm glad we got to a point and then we now listen back and this, this is great, this is, this is what it, we wanted it to be. So we're really happy, I must say, about the work we've done together, all together. Mm -hmm.